I don't, I don't reckon. Part is a balcony on top of it, mm -hmm. on everyone, and on top of the, every building there is also a balcony. And which is the most important, I will show you these two balconies on number 12 and 13. Yes, on the building behind this mm -hmm. are one of the most important balconies in my, in my <laughs> life because they they look exactly in the this building, mm -hmm. which was ladies. Ladies, so, <laughs> me, so my my uncle was general uh, general colonel, colonel mm -hmm. something highest rank in general in the US army. So I have a bunch of uh, binoculars. As well. yeah. so we was about Very important. six or seven grade primary school, <laughs> and came here with binoculars about eight at night when it's dark or nine. And People pass behind us and see that we are looking at binoculars in, in a ladies' part of the dormitory. And then one guy says, I can throw you away, throw you from the balconies, or you will let me to the binoculars for 10, for ten minutes. <laughs> so it's separate buildings for yes, men and women. Yes, are for ladies to for boys. But most important thing is connection. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it's free movement. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to watch. Yes. <laughs> Not a toy. <laughs> is this still working or is of it course. Not? Yes. This is main hydrometeorological uh, institution in Australia. I think the name is National Hydrometeorological Institute. Yes, you take an English too. Brutal to the end. Yeah. To the end, yes. Yeah. <laughs> For real. I'm not sure who built it. This guy Constantino. 
seems to have it's been Jan, uh, Janos Konstantinov, I think his name was. He made many of the houses. Started taking like, many of the houses. Might be him. Yesterday we read about the gypsy market. Is it the real gypsy market or is it just a name? No, no, it's a real gypsy market. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Only in a gypsy neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. But now it's closed. Yeah. Well, we have to leave something for the next time, so yeah. the next time we go to the gypsy market. Have you tried the Tafce Grafce? Do you know what that is? No. It's the most traditional dish in um, white beans baked with tomatoes and sausages. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have to. Find so that. yeah, this is like a staple. So everybody would like. What was the name, you said? Tafce Grafce. Tafce Grafce. It's a funny name as well. <laughs> but I'm sure you will see it everywhere in Macedonia. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Well, this day saved our day. This day saved our day after 15,000 steps. Mm -hmm. It's quite long day. First day is going to be great. Before the eight o'clock curfew, yeah. mm -hmm. where we will continue with pastica and cheese, apples mm -hmm. the butter, mm -hmm. and compare. Mm -hmm. compare. I think the pastica will do so more. Mm -hmm. However, I, I, I vote for this uh, focus forum, uh, forum restaurant. Yes, forum where they had uh, things in the window. Chewapi, chewapi, and also this bean dish, which is on the top of the list. Pushka, 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 pushka. Recommended by Elena. Now we have to eat it. That's also one of the dishes. Yeah, we cannot disappoint her. Turkish district, 5 p.m. Monday afternoon. This has to stop. Christopher is happy. The kebab place is open. Okay, then we made some friends also. What's the deal here? The deal is, I don't know, but... Uh, Apparently like they have chewapi. <laughs> some and some this, sort of chewapi. And, this, uh, and the beans. beans. But how, how do we eat them? Like I don't know. We might ask the guy. Can we order? Yes, yes. We're on. Say, for the 100 memo. Chewapi. Okay. Of okay, course. Boy. And... And, and the bees. What's called? Tafce na gravce. Tafce na gravce. Tafce na gravce. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so we have two. One for him, one for me. Okay. Let's have salad, shoska, zaziki. Everything. I, that, Everything. I know, but that's too much. <laughs> that's extra. But what did you ask for? So if you want salad as well. But I think we, we just take the chewapi and the beans. Okay. Yes? Chewapi and the beans. Okay. Okay, great salad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an optimistic person. I'm optimistic, yes, 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 yes. The only open shop in the street. Yeah. Market. It's a good sign. Okay, so now we own the place. Everybody place. left, including the owners, and we are left here. Yeah. <laughs> we took over the. Yeah. The beer garden. So let's call it a day. Let's call it a day and walk back. I think it's probably six o'clock, not eight o'clock. When the well, we were told eight by the by the hostess. If she was wrong, then we will go to prison, probably. Because we apparently we are the only people left in the city, yes. and both of us are not wearing any masks. So <laughs> deep, trouble. Deep, deep trouble. There is a human being there. Yeah. Half running. This is like the day after. <laughs> oh, there's a bicycle. I think these guys were uh, quite optimistic. They were something, yes? yeah. They said that vlogging is bullshit, but it's. Yeah. <laughs>
And they mentioned basically. Europe, which I, I have a long story about Europe. I had a party with Europe. Uh, I don't know if it, it's, it was the final countdown or the final tour, but uh, I ended up in a party. I used to go out with Marcelo, so... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and party, yes, <laughs> and party in Umeå with him. Yeah, and yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I asked you. We, we talked about Umeå. Mirko has been studying in Umeå University, and uh, of course you hang around. And you talked about Ki Marcello, and you thought he was Italian. He's no. fucking no Italian. Yeah, but Ki Marcello is uh, his name. Genuine uh, Swedish Norland uh, from the north of Sweden he guy. He tried. He tried. He tried. Of course, <laughs> good for the brand. And, but his real name is Shell Lövboom, which is mm. extremely dry. <laughs> I tried to sell a painting to the keyboard guy in, in Europe. The title of the painting was um, Hole of a Shaking Going On. I made a series of paintings based on uh, Jerry Lee Lewis uh, titles of the songs. It was dark green and I managed I, I found a way to, to uh, if you have a newspaper and a picture of newspaper at that time, there was so much, yeah. However, there was a, a series of articles about uh, uh, women uh, abuse. And uh, I took the, basically took the picture and put it into a paper, put it into the hardly dried paint on the painting. You could see, uh, the picture the feet the feet there ah cut it then can i can i show you something you haven't seen before just to finish the story there's a horse and there's a guy on a horse you might have not noticed yet it's only eight stories high in the center of skopje are you surprised now we can continue that, your that's, story. That's probably more <laughs> exciting than my story about uh, the painting I tried to sell to the uh, the keyboard guy in Europe. <laughs> yes, the band Europe. Which is not Marcelo. No, because it was not uh, Key, Key the Marcelo. He played the guitar, the lead yeah, yeah, guitar, yeah, no, and no, no, no. then uh, this guy, Mich Mich Michello or something. Mm -hmm. All of them uh, they changed the name because uh, you you cannot uh, at, uh, be successful if you have a Swedish name like. Uh, Jan Andersson, yeah. uh, that's nothing. You have to be Joe Tempest. I was in this party, I tried to sell this painting. All uh, music videos made by Europe was terrible. I, th I thought it was mm. disgusting. And I asked the guy, can I make your next video, rock video for MTV? I, I don't know what he answered, but... Uh, and he didn't buy any paintings. <laughs> I was totally disappointed. <laughs> was it the, the only the only the story the or the only success telling or? was that he invited me to the backstage party. So I went up, and this is part of the, how to say, historical, uh, not hangover. Yeah, it was a historical hangover as well. Historical party. We went to the hotel room, and I don't know what they did with the the bed. All, all kinds of furniture in the hotel room obviously they thrown out from the window because the room was totally empty the only thing that was left was uh, one bottle of rum one bottle of whiskey one bottle of vodka one bottle of whatever and free bar joe tempest came at one point and he said hey come on guys we're on the tour and he took this uh, one pint of a lager and he has taken in one sip and the night was over the night for you over. not for ah. him <laughs> <laughs> for him it was i don't for know him what, it was the beginning you. of the night where we where did we start the guys that uh, selling records talking about europe you study in umeo hmm. and you met a lot of celebrities from Umeå. Yeah, two. Um, two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's not say. It's okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. Because there are like <laughs> five in <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, and one of them was uh, Ki Marcello. And his. Ki Marcello, we went Ki, uh, out a few nights. Ki Marcello is was all about Shell Lövboom. Let's say Shell. 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 Mm -hmm. Shell. He never told me his right name, <laughs> his real yeah. name. So, so, what happened? Yeah, we went Shell. out and we had fun and 
all the girls were for him and I was the one taking the leftovers. Okay. <laughs> Few months later, Jesper Blomqvist, mother, she was my mentor and she told me that her son was moving to Italy and I had no idea who she was. And then she said that, yeah, she has, he has an agreement, preliminary agreement with Silvio to, <laughs> to get a, an Silvio, apartment who, in Milano. Si, Silvio, you're talking about yeah, that was my, yeah, that was my next question. And oh, it okay. was that Silvio. And then she asked me, can you please fix anything better? <laughs> because <laughs> I was there and it didn't look very good. And I said, no, I can't fix anything at all. <laughs> No, I was of no help, but I still managed to meet Jesper and we went out a couple of times. He went out with a Milan, AC Milan jersey and uniform. He got all the best girls. Oh. I was the plan B. Sorry my life.